I want to show you how to graph uh, any parametric equation using GeoGebra, which is a free download. Um, so say we want to graph r of theta equals 1 minus sine theta. Okay, in GeoGebra you can't directly write r theta equals 1 minus sine theta because it just doesn't work that way. But there is a workaround, and the workaround uh, helps us get a little bit uh, better understanding of how this um, function is actually traced out as theta grows from 0 to, say, 2 pi. So the first thing that we do is we just write f of x equals 1 minus sine of x. We replace the thetas with x, and we just call this function f of x. And that graphs uh, 1 minus sine theta, or 1 minus sine of x. We don't actually need to see this function, so in the little GeoGebra window, I'm going to uh, click this little dot, and that will toggle the visibility. So I can click it again to bring it back, but I don't actually need to see it for now. The next thing I'm going to do is click on the slider and create a slider that will go from 0 to 2 times pi. And I'll make it go in increments of pi over 100. Okay, So now we have that in place. And the next step is to create a curve. And the curve is going to be um, something, some function for the x-coordinate, some function for the y-coordinate, a parameter the parameter start value and the parameter end value. Um, so we're going to use this function that we just wrote, f of x equals 1 minus sine x as our function. And to get the x component of it, we would just take cosine of t times sine, oh, I'm sorry, times f of t. The y coordinate of it is going to be sine of t times f of t. The parameter is t, in case you were wondering why I was talking about t's. Uh, t is going to start at 0, and t is going to end at the value a. And it's going to turn out that we can actually click and drag this a value um, to make it be whatever we want. Um, it's going to go from 0 to 2 pi. So cosine of t times f of t, that's just uh, cosine of this function. That's all the x uh, projection. The sine of t times f of t, that's the y projection of this function. t is our parameter, and it's going to go from 0 to this value a, which we can slide. So I press Enter, and you can see some of my curve is already drawn. Let's right-click and zoom in on this region, and then let's Control-Drag to get a little better view of it. And now what I can do is I can go to my arrow tool up here on the left, and I can take this a, and I can actually drag it and watch this function trace out in time as I vary this parameter a. You can see it trace out. And of course I can control drag and get a better view of it. Um, and you can see how this thing traces out in time. And this is how you would do this for any other um, function uh, that's written. You know, r of t, r of theta is some function of some sines and cosines or whatever else of theta. I uh, hope this has been helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to send me an email, and have a great day. Bye.